Welcome back, you glorious people of the interwebs, to Red Dead Online. Today we're going to be taking on the level 4 legendary bounty, Cecil C. Tucker. Now when we get to level 4 with any of these bounties, they tend to get uh, a little bit more interesting and a little bit more difficult. And of course we're going to be doing this with a challenge today. We're going to be using only fire bottles and our fists. Fire versus fire, baby. It's going to be lit. Fun. Totally intended. So the thing about this is we've only got eight fire bottles. Just eight. So I feel like we need to save these for when things get a little squirrely. And we got to use our fists before then. So let's just do this. And if you equip your bola and then hit circle when rolling up to people, you can actually knock them down and then beat them to death. Yeah, you hold the fort, boys. Oh, this is going to be such a pain. Man, this guy can actually... Oh, don't take out... You bringing a gun to a fist fight? Hell no, son. Not today, hombre. All right, we got to lead them out. Lead them into the open. Oh, man, there are so many of them. We might just have to whip out <laughs> fire bottles now. Maybe we can lure them all into... Where are you throwing that fire bottle? You wasted one. I wasted two. Oh, this is a bloody tragedy. Okay, okay. Going back to the fisty cuffs. Ah! And then you and then you kick them while they're down. Right in the giblets. Get up! <laughs> Just the, the animation of, of having fallen was great. I wish we could do the, the push without having to uh, have anything equipped in our hands. But uh, this should do. Oh, glass jawed bad mamba jamba. Okay, we got we got a couple bogeys out here. Man, they are plowing through my health. Uh, I did this at level three, and it was not nearly this bad. Although we did have a posse, so they weren't all just shooting me. Ugh! Say hello to my little friend, Senor Feast. Right, I want to do the push again. Because the push is... Swerve! This guy's not a stormtrooper. He can actually... That guy sounds like he's constipated. Get out of here with your shotgun! Ah! Oh. Oh. Farewell, sweet prince. Okay, we got uh, we got a couple more dudes. We got one... Hanging out over next to all the explosives. Don't get me expl... Excuse me. Shazam! <laughs> I love when you get that perfect knockout and they just go limp instantly. Oh, nice with the kick into the dick and then in the brown star after he fell down. Oh, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. Good night. Okay. Now, this is where I'm expecting things to change up a little bit. Um, we know that this place is rigged with explosives in the effort to explode. The question is, what's going to happen after? Things usually explode after I go back this way, and then when I come out, everything... I'm not going out that front. That's where all the freaking explosives are. Maybe, can I... Well, I can't even blow them up without a gun. Just try. Everything's fine. Huh. Dispatch the enemies. All right, so we got enemies coming in. I don't know where they are. Come here, my little... Oh. <laughs> All right, Fort Bernard has exploded. It was a little premature or late, I guess. Is what? I guess technically that's what it is. Oh, sweet. This guy so kindly got off of his horse for us. Ain't that guy such a gentleman? Come here, you Lemoyne dickbag. <laughs> it doesn't get old. I guess I should have prefaced this with I might be using my feet as well. Technically... <laughs> Using my body parts to fight. Fire bottles and body parts only is what I should have said. Excuse me. Oops. Okay, that'll work, I guess. Where is Cecil C. Tucker? The biggest dick that we've gotten so far. Also known as Biggest Dickus. Oh, 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 that we've gotten in the game so far. One of these guys needs to get fire bottled. Or some of them, maybe? This whole group needs to get fire bottled. Oh, come on! Okay, I guess I got one of them. The other guy needs to walk into it, too. Where'd this guy go? Come back, you shifty little devil! 
But every time I hit, I should be healing too, which is kind of nice about the tackle, is that you can actually heal while punching him in the face. All right. We're going to swerve around back and surprise attack him. I'm plowing through these tonics with this challenge. Good lord. Come here, piggy! They said it couldn't be done. No man can take down Cecil C. Tucker with fists only. Well, it's happening. If only I could punch this guy. There we go. He was a. Uh, he was just itching to die. I want to use explosives so bad. They used explosives. I should be allowed to as well. Ugh. Kick him! Kick him while he's down! I'll punch him. Oh, we got another guy who thinks he can box. Ah, oh, son! Shit! <laughs> I still can't get over how they go limp. Give me a piggy. Oh, damn. Hi. This piggy can shoot. Oh, God. Oh, I'm screwed up. Look at, look at him scream. Hey, there we go. We did the push without actually having a gun in our hand. How the hell did I do that? I need to do it again. I need to learn the ways of the super push. <laughs> okay. Capture Cecil C. Tucker dead or alive. So that means he should be rolling in now. Probably with an entire freaking army. Let's see if we can get these guys down first. Okay, that didn't push. Oh, they're going to lift me up like a Christmas tree. Oh, there's so many. No, 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 no. No. Oh. Dismiss. Dismiss. Holy crap, there's a lot of them. Where the hell is Cecil? Oh, wow. This guy's a champion. Usually they get <laughs> just wailing on him. <laughs> Good lord, that guy was a tank. Stupid Le Mans Raiders. Oh, no, stop tackling people, dude. I thought I figured out how to not tackle. I did it again. Excuse me, sir. Oh, that hurt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> super brown star kick. Shazam! Oh, whoa, hey! The boxing match to end all boxing match matches. Okay, these guys in here are causing a little bit of trouble. I got five fire bottles left. Um, there's a lot of them. Maybe I can hit that explosive. It didn't explode! There we go. <laughs> Gotta love when a plan works, baby. Holy crap. Shotgun! I have not hit a single person with a fire bottle today. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for shopping at Fisty Mart. The one and only place to get the fisted? That sounds terrible. Excuse me, where are you? Get back here! He's running! We got runners, baby! Oh, I just triple kicked him in the nuts. They're just never gonna stop! This is ridiculous! Oh my god! <laughs> there are so many more people at tier 4 than there was before! And he still hasn't even showed up yet! We gotta lure him outside. You'd think if they saw their people just getting absolutely devastated by a guy running around and only not fisting them, only fist fighting them. I almost said only fisting. That would have been really terrifying. There we go. Maybe if I run into them holding this button. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh, I pulled out a gun accidentally. Come on, piggies! I ain't going in there. I am not that dumb. Sweet baby Jesus, Cecil C. Tucker is finally here. Now the question is, can we stop his cart with only without... No, we're going to light him on fire if we accidentally do that. Uh, so we need to be able to bola him real quick and hog time so he doesn't blow himself up. Is that... Oh, they're running! Oh, hell no! Get back here, piggy! All right, I got him, uh, but the Lemoyne Raiders themselves are actually running. They're like, 
We ain't dealing with this guy today. I can't believe they're running from a dude. I am covered in blood and I did murder half their, you know, basically all of them with my fists only. This is actually a really nice cinematic. I like this a lot. This is beautiful. So if memory serves, when this happens, all we need to do is just bring him back and we won't even get attacked by Lemoyne Raiders, which is pretty great. They're dead. Don't, where's my mama? That's what he's gonna say the entire way back. Yep, this is great. I don't know what causes them to actually run rather than stay and fight. Um, but when they do run, there's literally nobody attacking you the entire way to Annisburg. Now, because we actually did this so quickly, I'm going to run down to St. Denis to turn him in. Uh, because we're going to get more money if we take longer, which is kind of unfortunate, really. Actually, it's super unfortunate. I've expressed my <laughs> disdain for the fact that the longer you take with these missions, the more money you make. You should be rewarded by efficiency and quickness. You want to know what's crazy? The sheer amount of animals uh, that's available. We all know that um, during missions, um, the animal spawn rate is just astronomical. But with this particular bounty hunt mission, there are so many of these blue herrings here. It's kind of absurd. Like, it's there, I've counted at least 30, and look how many are here. There's one... <laughs> There's so many rare birds here. It's insane. So I highly recommend if you're looking to make some extra money with these bounty hunts, what you can do is... Okay, well, I scared those. But what you can do is you could, like, take Cecil C. Tucker off here. You could shoo your horse away and lure in your hunting wagon, fill it up with animals, and then make your hunting wagon go away, and it'll keep all of the animals inside of it. That is... Like, just a ridiculous amount of money just sitting here. Not only if you sell it, but if you just bring it to Crips, you'll be able to level up everything so fast. It's kind of... It's it's insane! Look at this! I love when he cries that he doesn't want to go in there. Uh, I wish I could have just lit him on fire and just watched him burn in the middle of St. Denis. Better be good, Sheriff! Alright, what do we got? It's a nice little view when we when we get back, though. I like that. Come on, baby. Show me the money. $95.90. 0.36 gold bars, 959 XP. Not too bad. Not bad at all, really. Especially if you take advantage of all the animals, like, down in the Lemoyne area. Or, um... In the bayou area but anyways i do hope you all enjoyed this episode we also just got the red dead redemption 2 pc 4k video released which looks so good i'm gonna be releasing a video on that soon comparing it to the graphics we currently have uh, but i'm very very excited to be playing this game on the pc thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one